I'm going to show you the pictures and I'm going to show you the listing and then we're going to read the negative feedback. I have not got it taken off yet. Have not called eBay. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Thanks for joining us today. We've got some really good sales. Matter of fact, we were gone a little while and so we had the store on time away mode and we got a bunch of sales. So we're going to actually do some today, tonight, this evening, and then we're going to do some in the morning too, film another episode. So we've had a bunch of stuff sell, including if you watch the Commonwealth Picker channel, that item we bought the other day. Although, you know what? I think we'll probably ship that out in the morning. So we'll save the uh, Dr. Mario piece for the morning. <laughs> but I've got the craziest feedback story I've seen in a while. And, you know, sometimes it just blows my mind. It's like, what are these people thinking? They clearly don't pay attention when they're buying something and this one kind of takes the cake. So I'm gonna tell you that negative feedback story in just a sec, let's take a look. I love it when you can get stuff for free and then flip it. And this was a freebie. It's that Fox News guy, you've probably seen, or Fox News, Fox Sports football guy. You've probably seen that one before. I've got a little football there. It's the Pittsburgh Steeler one. That one right there sold for $15 plus shipping and it sold super quick. Sold the Maiden Korea Buzz Off. And just figure, that's all. And it's one of the lower priced ones, $10 plus shipping, but it is a cool one and it went to a viewer. Went to Nancy. Love your channel, been an online seller since 2014, but not vintage. I knew I was going to retire and started an online business on Etsy years before. Says she's had many Etsy stores, but never sold on eBay. Classy gifts and glass on Etsy. And she has a cabin on the property, 60 by 16. That is a massive cabin that is awesome hope you enjoy it and oh i forgot just a sec we're keeping track of this sale so paid 120 three out the door up to 37 so far so we're making a little bit of a dent sold a 2012 red toad mushroom what is that what you call them toady toad i don't know what you call them 12 dollars plus shipping so i guess i call it a little bit of profit you remember the minnesota sale we went to up there with chad and we bought a bunch of 31 bags. Some were winners, some weren't quite as big winners. This was a winner. Paid like a dollar, sometimes two, I think, for these bags. It was in here. I pulled it out earlier because I knew I'd have to dig for it. It's an insulated bag. It is a new one. And it sold for pretty decent money. I think it sold for 26 plus shipping. And it was, I think this one was two bucks. Another viewer sale. Had quite a few today, five or six. This one went to Linda, some Tupperware. What do you know? So Kayla, the homeschooling picker, didn't ruin the Tupperware market after all. I still sold one, and that one went for $10 plus shipping, a little paprika, like, I don't know, bacon, lunch meat, holder thing. I don't know what you want to call it. $10 plus shipping. We're probably into it for less than a buck. I saw Kayla selling that Tupperware. I've seen Paul selling that Tupperware. I saw Jocelyn, crazy lamp lady, pick up Tupperware. I'm like, man, everybody's eating into my tiny little market here. There's not that much money in it, y'all. Go back to what you do. Go back to making your big bucks. Let me make the the cheap Tupperware money at least. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who mentioned me in their videos. That was very kind of you. I appreciate it. This one went to Linda. She said, texted you a while ago about your marble collection that you mentioned that you might auction off. And <laughs> it sits there every day and stares at me and laughs. It's like, you're not ever going to auction me off. You're not ever going to touch me. You're just going to let me sit here. <laughs> it mocks me every day. I probably need to get that thing up for auction, so I'll, I'll do that pretty quick. Thanks, Linda. Sold a pretty inexpensive LP. Let me find it really quick. All right, magic of editing. In Harmony, this is a Sesame Street record. And look at all those famous people right there. Ernie and Cookie Monster and Carly Simon. <laughs> Linda Ronstead, Bette Miller, the Doobie Brothers. 14 bucks for that one right there. Mentioned the other day that uh, Blue Ridge Mama had a haul and we were going to put it in the last video and then I forgot to put it in. So we're going to put that video right here, right now, and then we're going to talk about that crazy negative feedback. Hi, y'all. Somebody's been doing some shopping again. Your hair looks nice, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to Julian. <laughs> All right, I see just a little bit of Goodwill and these seem tiny like some... Tiny bit of Goodwill. Tiny bit tiny. of Goodwill. So I'm not going to yell at you? <laughs> and I didn't you, even mean to get this stuff. You didn't even mean to. It just accidentally showed up in your cart. Yeah. <laughs> they do look like good deals. All right, tell me about them. So this was Walmart clearance. 
and in a different Walmart than I usually go to, I was waiting to pick up Reagan. So I had to get a few things. So I ran into a different one and just stumbled upon their clearance aisle. And it's like <laughs> legit clearance this time. Usually yeah. the one closest to us it's terrible. is not. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, really 10 cent, I think that's probably that's pretty good. Pretty good deal for yeah. a little Ghostbuster toy. Originally 16. They're still selling on eBay for about the same plus shipping. So 16 plus shipping. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I'm just sold. Interesting. So, 10 cents can't yeah. beat that. I mean, we could put that in a garage sale and make money. I thought Turner might want one, but he's growing up a little yeah, bit too much. Yeah, he little is. Bit too much. So just a lot of, they had a lot of health and beauty stuff. But I was a little behind to a lady had a cart full. <laughs> just one person just... Darn resellers. I know. I don't know if she was or not, though. She had a lot of kids, like, yeah. toys. Okay. So. Well, she might buy up for Christmas. Yeah. or Sometimes people buy up for, like, uh, toys for tots and stuff. And yeah. give them, like, we could donate yeah. something like that. A lot of things that I wouldn't think she was doing reselling for. Mm -hmm. Um, So, some type of probiotic digestive support. I'll probably put these two together. This one was a good one. It should be about $40. Oh, really? Yep. Or just you could do 20 them. and 20. But well, I'll okay, probably just do them okay. together. That's probably that's awesome. together. This one wasn't great. I thought it was going to be great. It's just 30. But yeah. whatever. Um, I'll probably do like 12 95 in mm -hmm. shipping. So okay. it is, I think, over a pound though. Ooh. A little 50 cent makeup. They go for about 7 95 plus shipping. So okay. that one's fine. Physician's formula, which I've used that brand before. Um, I'll do these three together too. This one's got a little bit of damage Fast acting calm calm it's like a little thing that you dissolve on your tongue and supposed okay. to make you i don't know maybe i should keep a pack of these <laughs> since i have to work with you <laughs> um so those will probably just all to go together too for about 25 plus ship okay some thomas the train which turner used to love too everybody's growing up it's so sad a dollar piece which i might save one of these for our little buddy gabe mm -hmm. but um Probably around 15 or so plus ship. Okay. These were good too for 50 cents because they, it has like two in a package, some type of air filter, and they were going for about 24 plus ship for one box. So nice. I know. I like that one. This is not, this wasn't supposed to be here, but this <laughs> was what I was unaware of. This said 644, the only sticker on here. The kids take these, they actually like these. And I go up and it rang up for a dollar. So I don't yeah. know how much stuff was really not yeah. marked correctly mm -hmm. anyway. Hmm. Uh, I got one of these is going to our cat. It's a little interactive <laughs> toy. And they weren't on eBay for much for about eight bucks or so. But we'll either give them both to our lovely crew of kitties <laughs> or whatever. All right, we got? Goodwill. Some type of pottery. Great Bay pottery. Never heard of it. I know. They had a lot of different stuff. They had some cute stuff actually that had sold. Not much, but they charge me a dollar ninety nine. And usually Ray Dunn stuff I just ignore. Mm -hmm. I just totally leave it alone. But this is a doggy dish and it was going for about so thirteen Ray Dunn's plus not shipping. Going for very much. I mean things, it is, yeah. Our old stuff is like mm -hmm. we'll go for crazy, but I okay. just you see so much of it at T J Maxx and stuff. So. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Have you ever got a negative feedback in a different language? It's happened to me more times than I would like to admit, I suppose. And it's all my, you know, obviously there's a language barrier of some sort, but you can see pictures and I'm assuming, you know, if you're buying it and you, you don't read, I don't know how it works, right? If, if they're, I don't, I'm assuming they're reading it in English. So, but the pictures speak a thousand words in my opinion. So I got a negative feedback and I got it in Spanish and I'm going to show you the pictures and I'm going to show you the listing and then we're going to read the negative feedback. I have not got it taken off yet. Have not called eBay with I this has happened two or three times in the last couple of years and I usually make a phone call and it gets taken off really super fast and I'm sure that's what will happen here too. All right here you go can you see this condition used here's the army man not in packaging whatsoever. Right, like I said it's in Spanish and I don't want to I, I can I grew up in Southern California so many of my best friends were were Mexican and they spoke you know fluent Spanish but I still am going to butcher it a little bit. Maybe I should have called up Carrie American Arbitrage and put one of his three degrees to work. <laughs> All right, here he goes. Juguetes usados. Yo entendía que eran nuevos y con su empaque original. Anybody speak Spanish out there? All right, let me translate. Used toys. 
I understood that they were new and with their original packaging. Okay. So naturally when I get that feedback, I'm like, oh man, did I put new in that listing? I can't believe I did that. And I know in my mind, I'm like, the, I know the pictures we took were, you know, with the figures out of their boxes. Because I remember buying them that way. I'm like, this is nuts. And I went to the listing and sure enough, it said used. And so it's used. The pictures are used. Nowhere does it say new. There's no packaging shown anywhere. So, you know, it is what it is. But it'll get removed. Tell me your negative feedback stories in a different language. A lot of creative memories aren't big money makers, but this little pile was pretty good. It's because we got this pile for four bucks and just one sold for 15 plus shipping. And there's what, five of them in there? So that's definitely a winner right there for sure. Making like 12 bucks pop times five, make about $60 on something simple like that. Got back there and saw that another creative memory sold $14.95. Plus shipping for those Mickey pages. These are pretty cool because they go in the record boxes. They fit perfect right here in these record boxes right there. Speaking of fitting perfectly in those record boxes, Liz has got plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table over on CommonwealthPicker.com. Those little sales just keep adding up. NWO stickers right here. One, two, 127 is not too far away, y'all. That's where we got these last year. And two of them sold. That's 20 bucks right there. I think that's what I paid for all of them, right? 20 bucks? <laughs> there was 100 or so. It's awesome. Had a lot of three things headed out of here to what I can only think is a viewer, Justin. And so Justin... I didn't see a message on the purchase. If you left one in the messaging system, I apologize, but it is lost in the in the chaos that is the messaging system. Here's the hat, Mission Space Epcot. Pretty cool. And that hat went together with a couple of keychains, which is why it makes me think that it was a viewer. This is from the Epic Garage Sale videos. Just love those. Firebird right here. That's just a sweet keychain. And uh, that's not it. Trans Am, I think, is the other one. Two sweet keychains for around $42. All in. Pretty cool. Love those sales. So, the very last fanny pack from the mother of all garage sales. This lime green one here. I think it's the very last one, anyways. 18 bucks, I believe, is what it sold for. I think we bought these for three, maybe. Maybe a little bit under three. Maybe more of my fanny packs will be selling. Though. I don't know. We sell a couple a week. Well, that one's headed out of here. Pretty good price, man. We made a lot of money on that sale. The mother of all garage sales. Love that sale. So this one went to a different Justin. Justin with a different last name. And there is a message on this one. Love your videos and your family is super sweet. Good luck in the in your future endeavors and God bless. So thank you. You got that one with a coupon. So you got a little bit better deal. So thanks so much, Justin. Sold a John Denver LP, which I just saw. It's got to be one of these. There it is right there. Is that it? Yep. $10 plus shipping for John Denver. Poems, prayers, and promises. Wherever Turner goes, there go the animals, right? Huh? There go the animals, right? Oh, look, you think y'all getting treats. You probably will. <laughs> All right, buddy, what do you got there? Uh, movie moments, Luigi, Guido, and Tractor. Luigi, Guido, Tractor. Movie moments. 30 bucks that one for Bud. Free ship, but it's going to go out first class and then 10 by 7 by 5 bucks, I think. I don't know. I can't remember what we put that in. What are you doing? You itching over here, huh? You scratching? So that right there is pretty good money for you. Definitely enough for you to do what? $10, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Bye. Looks like there was another one in here. This is getting ridiculous. We gotta get, y'all got to get out of here. Let's go. I see a no name out there too. Jeez, what has my life become? Sold some Puma shoes. I don't think too incredible right here, but not bad, they're in good shape. They sold for, I think these went on discount as well. Somebody used a coupon on them, so around 20 bucks. Plus shipping for those shoes. Sold something out of Shad Juice's drawer. Nice to see him put out a video not too long ago. Shad Juice right here, top drawer. Pixma, you know, used to sell this stuff all the time. And haven't had so much luck with it over current years. But how many of y'all are still selling ink 
And that one, right, you still find it from time to time. Paid a dollar, I think, for that one. So for 22 bucks, super easy. Goes in the four by four by four box. Some sales just make me laugh. And this one, even though it's not a big one, $8.95 is a when in doubt parted out master sale right here. I love it. There it is right here. Directions to the drink fountain for the McDonald's. What do you want to call I don't even know what this one's called. Anyways, <laughs> that one right there. Sold for nine bucks right there. Nine dollars. Can you believe it? Love those sales. You hear that, Paul? You hear that? Curly flipper? When in doubt parted out. <laughs> I love it. That reminds me about mugs. So I've had a couple questions lately. Those mugs over there, let me show them to you. So this mug here, we no longer sell. That mug there, that's the first edition one. We no longer sell. This, do we sell? Nope, we don't sell that one anymore either. So that's all we have left of these is right here. I just kind of keep them for special occasions or fundraisers or giveaways or whatever. These are the ones that we do still sell. We will probably always sell these, is my guess. And there you go. It's running out. I better fill it back up over there. It's my OCD kicking in. So that should be in the commonlocator.com store. But this one, where did it go? This one is not right here. This is over on badcatcoffee.com. Use code commonwealth if you want one. Next sale is a lot of three things, two of which I can find. One, Blue Ridge Mama took pictures of. In a different location, I can tell by the pictures. And so it's not in here. So I've got her on the hunt for it. This is a Redskins tie-dye. Debbie bought this, by the way. I can only assume it's a viewer sale because three things, three different type of things. And got the discount code as well. Commonwealth, 10% off. I don't know when that runs out. But there you go. Two Tupperware mugs. This right here and some tablecloth clips. I'm going to put the picture up right here. And let me look at the price. The price for all three, $37 plus shipping. Had an awesome sale right here. This is a Liberty University game worn jersey, 82. So I don't know what, wide receiver, right? It's pretty, pretty skinny anyways. So size large. No offensive linemen are wearing that thing. Big South Conference, so it's old. I think they're, I don't know, what they go? A-Sun Conference US? I don't know what. At any rate, game worn, see how long it is, so it stays tucked in. And I don't know, I didn't see any of them out there when I got this one and listed it. So I put it up there high, 100 bucks. And it got bought within a week or two. Another pretty nice sale, $40 for a Gap leather jacket in the middle of the summer. Size medium, in pretty darn good condition. Got this one in Gastonia. If you remember, I was with Paul Philly Flipper down there. We were going to Dante's uh, Prison to Profit conference down there in, where the heck were we? We're in South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina. I think he's having another one, I believe. So I'll have to go check out Dante Prison to Profit. It gets in October. I don't know if we're going to that one. I'd love to, as long as my schedule cooperates. So check that out right there. And this one sold for 40 bucks. I think, Paul, you can correct me in the comments below. I let you have a lot of those jackets if I remember. I'm like, Paul, come here. Why don't you buy all these? And he did. He bought them. And I grabbed one. I'm like, I'm going to grab this one. <laughs> I think they were a dollar. Maybe two. But either way, they were super cheap. 40 bucks plus shipping. Haven't always been able to give out the thanks for all the folks who buy these enema men here. And, you know, our tub back there, we do one or maybe two auctions a week for those in a man and we used to sell uh, well we, they weren't on auction they were just on you know buy it now and we would sell sometimes 20 a night tell me in the comments if you go back long enough to, to remember like the 20 thank yous i would give here in the ebay cave before we had the cabin of people buying those in a man it was crazy and it was one in a man after another after another after another hopefully they got your stores moving and hopefully these guys will get all of these folks who i'm just going to read in a second all of your stores moving and of course that's what it says on the back we get things moving if you don't know the in a man story i'm not going to tell it anymore i've said it so many times but i do have a video you can check it out all right so here are some thank yous i'm doing these today because reagan is gone she's actually with a friend up at an amusement park, spending the night, and so she's not here tonight to do her part of the video. I'll still give her the dollar a piece, though. 
and we'll still do the charity one apiece. If you don't know that, everything we sell, the kids sell, $1 goes to charity. Most of the stuff out of Turner Store, Homeschool Hustlers, we give that to Compassion and to a kid we sponsor. Although there's excess sometimes, and so we push it to different places, but we do some stuff for the Humane Society. We do stuff for Isaiah 117. Although most of that comes out of a different pile. That's not something we regularly do. And uh, we have a couple more. St. Jude, of course, for CommonwealthPicker.com. Anyway, there you go. Brenda, Randy, Randy? I think it's Randy. I'm sorry if it's not. It's my writing. I can't read it. <laughs> Melissa, Joe, and Shelly or Chelly? Sorry if I don't have that right. You're from Lodi, California. Reminds me of the Creedence song. I, I used to have a neighbor that was from Lodi. Stuck in Lodi again. I should go visit. I don't think I've ever been there. So anyway, thank you to all four of you, all five of you for getting the Man. We hope he gets things moving for you. Not an absolute ton of huge high-priced items today, but I do have a bunch of those <laughs> going out tomorrow. Actually, I guess I should take that back. There is that pretty nice jersey sale in there for a hundred dollars and a lot of bulk sales as well and a lot of viewer sales one two three definite viewer sales looks like at least two more that were probably viewers maybe three so six anywhere between probably four and six viewer sales so thank you all for that always always kind and when we're gone and the store's on time away mode that usually happens a little bit more often i used to say 10 to 20 percent when we're on vacation it seems like it's 25 percent of the sales really crazy so not vacation but time away hey really quick myresellergenie.com check the link below if you lost godaddy and you're looking to replace it myresellergenie.com makes it easy for you to transfer that stuff or to not transfer it just to start up again and take the data from one and the other and use that for your taxes at the end of the year great people to mark in faith so check that out the link below or you can just go over there MyResellerGenie.com and use code COMMONWEALTH, all caps. Get 15% off. Thank you all very, very much for joining us. As always, can't wait to show you tomorrow's sales, even though you might not see the video for two days. So thanks so much, and I can't wait to see you next time.